Washington DC Washington DC is commonly referred to as just Washington The DC in Washington DC stands for District of Columbia It was founded in 1791 and is formed out of the land donated by the states Maryland and Virginia It is so named to honor George Washington The city is home to all three branches of the federal government and also houses many national monuments and museums. Want to go on a trip? Friends are busy? Need a travel companion? Don't worry. Now you can connect with travelers traveling to the same destination on exceders.com. All you need to do is join your city club and publish your trip plan with travel dates and place you are planning to visit. That's it. Verified tourists, travelers and backpackers looking for travel partners to the same destination will contact you. Best time to visit Washington DC? The best times to visit Washington are between the months March to May and September to November. How to get to Washington DC? Air. The city is served by three major airports. Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, closest and most convenient, Washington Dulles International Airport, and Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. Train. Amtrak trains arrive from all over the country. particularly the northeast corridor which is boston to richmond all stop at union station otherwise known as red line metro a few blocks from the us capitol building bus bus transportation services are offered by greyhound best bus bold bus and a host of other operators Transportation in Washington DC. You can travel within the city by bus, metro, taxi, car and bicycle. Accommodation in Washington DC. You can find budget accommodation in Washington DC at about 25 to 40 dollars. Mid-range hotels will cost you anywhere between 60 to 100 dollars. Luxury hotels will charge you upwards of $150. Must try signature dishes of Washington DC. The city is known for its appetizing and tasty dishes, which range from full-fledged meals to ready-to-eat snacks. Just to name a few of these: pulled pork, deep dish pizza, sweet potato pie, caramel cake, fried chicken, bacon, steak and many many more best places to eat in washington dc old ebbet grill founding farmers baked and wired bub and pops joe's seafood prime steak and stone crab kurderoy rasika west end le diplomat for wiet Fogo de Chao, Blue Duck Tavern, Komi, and 1789 Restaurant. Interesting facts about Washington DC. More wine is consumed per person in Washington DC than any state in the United States. The Library of Congress, the biggest library in the country, contains 535 miles of bookshelves In Washington DC there is one lawyer for every 19 residents in DC and 74 lobbyists for each United States senator George Washington never lived in DC The White House was actually completed a year after he died When the Washington Monument opened in 1884, it was the tallest structure in the world until the Eiffel Tower in Paris opened in 1889. Top tourist sites in Washington DC. White House. 
the White House is undoubtedly the most well-known landmark of the United States. It serves as the office as well as the residence of the President of the United States. The site for the building was selected by George Washington. During the War of 1812, the building was burned down by the British. National Mall The National Mall is located downtown and it stretches from the west to Constitution Avenue. You will come across a number of Smithsonian museums and Vietnam Veterans Memorial in this region. Also, to the east are memorials to Presidents Ulysses S. Grant and James Garfield. Washington National Cathedral The city doesn't have a formal national cathedral, however, if there was one, then it would definitely be the Cathedral Church of St. Peter and St. Paul. It is considered as the spiritual home of the nation. It is popularly referred to as the Washington National Cathedral. It is built in the neo-Gothic style and ranks as the sixth largest cathedral in the world. Library of Congress It is the largest library in the world and was founded in the year 1800. The library was originally founded to house early documents of the United States. Most of these documents were transferred from Philadelphia to Washington. It remained mainly as a reference library for the Congress for the first 100 years. Today, it houses 158 million items, amongst which are 36 million books in 460 languages and 69 million manuscripts. Georgetown Neighborhood it is a historic town which was established even before when the U.S. government was established in Washington. The city has grown to become a trendy place to work, live and visit. It houses many top universities and various old monuments like the Old Stone House. National Air and Space Museum the National Air and Space Museum is a part of the Smithsonian Institution and is a place which both kids and adults can enjoy. It stores a wealth of information about America's air and space programs. Amongst the exhibits are the 1903 Wright Flyer, Apollo 11 Moon Landing Expedition Exhibits, etc. Jefferson Memorial The memorial pays tribute to the third President of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. Its design courted controversy because it looked similar to the Lincoln Memorial, which was later settled when President Franklin D. Roosevelt laid down the cornerstone in 1939. The memorial is located on the National Mall and features a statue of Jefferson looking towards the White House. Lincoln Memorial The memorial pays tribute to America's most well-known president, Abraham Lincoln. The statue of the president is surrounded by a Greek Doric-style temple. It is located at the west end of the National Mall. It is also the place where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Washington Monument It was built during the 19th century and is probably one of the most well-known obelisks in the world. The monument pays tribute to the achievements of George Washington during the Revolutionary War. The monument stands at a height of 550 feet. United States Capitol it is the meeting place for the Congress. Visitors can get free passes from the congressman's office. It was one of the first buildings to be constructed by the fledgling US government after the Revolutionary War. The construction work on the building began in 1793 and the first meeting was held 
in 1800.